There are currently five boss balloons in BTD6. The balloon areas, Vortex, Phase, Dread Balloon, and Lich, each with their own unique mechanics and abilities. Today, I'm gonna be speedrunning every single boss back to back, but with a twist. I will never be able to use the same map or towers again. I will have to strategize which towers and map I wanna use on each boss or risk making the run impossible. So make sure to use creator code Tutti in the Balloon CD6 shop. That's T-E-W-T-I-Y. Anytime you buy anything in game, it helps support the channel, the editors, the modders, the artists, and everyone behind the team. We have five bosses that we need to beat and we're gonna be beating them in order. So we're gonna start at Balloonarius and end off on phase oof this is gonna be pretty tricky but i think this is going to be a lot of fun so we're gonna have to do five different maps which i don't think is gonna be too difficult but let's just start off on monkey meadow on your mark get set go all right the timer has been started oh my goodness oh wait wait, 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 wait. what do i want to do what do i want to do for this um i have to make sure i'm not like messing up like really badly what do I want to use for this? Let's do Wizard Monkey. If we put down a tower, we're never able to use it again. So we have to use as little towers as possible. Do we want to use Banana Farm against this character? I don't think so. I don't think I want to use a Banana Farm. I feel like a Banana Farm is precious. So we still need like a form of money making. So maybe we can do like Wizards and Snipers maybe? Uh, that might work. So... Yeah, I don't even know if it's going to be possible. Oh, I, I do have a wizard paragon, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it. Oh my gosh, I totally messed up here. Will we need a paragon? Probably so. Man. All right, let's just do sniper. We're going to do sniper. So I've already used wizard and sniper, which is crazy. But we need to go bouncing bullet because we're going to need to make sure we can get money because that's like our main money making like process, right? Like that's really what we need to focus on. We need to make sure we can make money. So we're going to be going up against five bosses, but there's really only like four money making towers in the game. So banana farm is the most money making. And then there's also village. But we can't go bottom path village without banana farm. But I'm still going to do it anyways because that's going to, like, we're going to split those up. We have monkey buccaneer, which is going to be really important. And a sniper. And we have heli pilot. One of those we're going to need against the dread balloon, right? So maybe we use uh, the, the monkey buccaneer against dread balloon i think that seems like a pretty good idea right there are so many things that i need to consider because if i accidentally lock myself out of a like of a run i'm gonna be really sad if i have to do this again this is gonna be a longer video okay so definitely get yourself a, a nice glass of juice okay a nice something something to munch on a healthy snack and maybe a fresh some fresh fruit chill out and if you want to see more of these longer crazy like speed run type videos let me know all right this wizard has been like not a great call all right, so far, I'm panicking because I have to speed run it, so I'm under pressure. And all right, we finally got a supply drop, which is really nice. I'm basically just going to spam these down. This is going to be my money making, and we're going to have to go up against anything. And they're pretty good against Blunarius, because Blunarius sends out like a bunch of balloons anyways. So I think that's going to work out really well. I, do I want to get just straight elite sniper first and then just get others? Let's see, that's 14,000, which I've already put... A lot of money into this and this only gets i think it gets 15 of 1200 the other one gives 3000 i mean elite sniper is pretty good i think i'm gonna go straight elite sniper we have eight rounds until the first boss shows up i'm four minutes into this speed run i don't even know how long this is gonna take i have no idea five bosses i wouldn't be surprised if it's like two hours that would be wild that's saying i don't lose that's saying all of these things. There's a lot of things at stake here, okay? I also didn't mention it in the beginning of the video, but I'm allowed to lose once per boss run, okay? I can lose once per boss run. So if I lose more than once, I have to restart the run. And that is a little bit tragic, okay? All right, I hope I don't lose right here. All right, we just got the elite sniper, which is really strong. This should be enough to be able to deal with the boss. That with like dragon's breath. Is this gonna be enough? Well, wizard's like wizard. I can't use wizard anyways again. So we might as well go like full, full into it and get an arcane mastery and arcane spike and also some nice camera detection. Boom, $3,000. I should be strong enough here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get another 
Let's see. How is how are we looking here? Uh, not that strong. <laughs> not that good. How are we doing? All right, we're doing like a little bit of damage. Not a lot though. Can I get another supply drop, please? Do I want to get a supply drop? Am I gonna be safe if I get a supply drop? I think so. It gives me more damage, uh, and then I can get a little bit more here. All right, wizard monkey. Let's go ahead and get necromancer. Okay, I'm already scared. Okay, Necromancer. We've got Necromancer. And let's go ahead. Ooh, this is going to be a little scary. Let's do Necromancer and then Arcane Blast. Okay, we were able to deal with that. Nice. All right, we're kind of cruising. We're kind of cruising. We're kind of cruising. We're kind of cruising. Let's go ahead. He's already so far along. Okay, there we go. Ooh, more money. All right, our snipers are coming in. Just barely, though. We're already on round 47. This is not good. This is not good. But if I can keep up the snipers and keep up the, my money making, I think we're going to be very good. This is like a very, very, very slow way to make money. But I don't think we're going to be able to afford a wizard paragon this game. We might need to get an extra, one extra tower. I'm not sure what that extra tower looks like, but I really just want to get more snipers now. They're helping out. It's already round 49! Holy cow. I need single target damage. Uh, for the next one, for sure. Because I'm just barely popping this, and I already have, like, a bunch of stuff going crazy. But these are going to pay for themselves and be able to do quite a lot. And there'll be a lot of... Like, look at this. Now we're, now we're making money. Now we're making money. All right, go, go, snipers. I definitely want to get... What other? Okay, so we beat that. <laughs> it's in eight rounds. The Blunarius is showing up in eight rounds. I can get like an Archmage, maybe. I think Archmage is going to be really nice. We okay, let's think about this. Do I want to get an extra tower to, to help deal with this? Right? If there's. Okay, there's 24 towers in the game. I can use five towers per boss. I'm only using two right now. So I did not. I didn't put down a hero. Oh my gosh. Do I just. Okay, I have Oban. All right, I'm just going to put Oban down. I'm just gonna put Oban down. Like, I don't care. I can't believe I didn't put a hero down. I need to think about heroes. All right, I'm putting down. All right, this is my last sniper, I think, for now. All right, now we, now I need to. Okay, I have $10,000. So get me Arcane Spike. That's good. Uh, Prince of Darkness would be nice. Summon Phoenix. Maybe we just try to get something. I could get a plane. I think a plane would be really nice. That might be exactly what I'm looking for. I don't think I have enough money to fight it either. It's 75,000. I definitely don't have what it takes. All right, give me a summon Phoenix. $14,000 is not a lot of money. I think I gotta get something here. I think I'm gonna go Monkey Ace. So Monkey Ace is gonna be off the clock and I can't use Monkey Ace. Am I okay with this? All right, I am now. Here we go, Exploding Pineapple. Let's get an Operation Dart Storm. I, all right, summon Phoenix. All right, let's put down another one of these bad boys. All right, let's get a Spectre. If we get a Spectre, I think we're gonna be in a, we're gonna be pretty good. Like we're gonna be cooking. Oban's already level seven. At least Oban is giving a bonus to the, the wizards. Well, once he's like fully upgraded, I'm gonna wait just for all of those to be ready to go. All right, there we go. Nice, 24,000 and Spectre. Let's go, boosh. Baba boosh. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna get spy plane on all of these because we need that. Oh, that was another paragon though. Oh no. Okay, I can't use any more paragon towers. So I have dart monkey paragon. I have boomerang paragon. I have ninja paragon. Uh, we're doing okay actually. We're gonna pop this more snipers. More snipers. Because if I can get these snipers down and they're making like, see how much money? Oh, only $3,000. They make like no money. But they do get some pops. They get, like, no pops. It's so not worth it. All right, last sniper. And then... Or last... Well, I'll, I'll use this, and then I should be okay. Okay. So, one more sniper. And that's that. No more snipers. All right, and then we... I have three towers down. I don't want to use any more. Let's see. All right, we were able to beat it. Actually, pretty easily. Prince of Darkness, I don't really care about a Prince of Darkness, but I'll grab an Archmage. Boom. All right. Archmage, so wheat. 
Archmage is sweet. Remember, we need to do 3 million damage. How much does... Se I'm not going to get $750,000. That's just not going to happen. Sorry to sorry to bust everybody's bubble. So, I mean, they okay, they do make money. They are making money. All right, fine. I'll get more supply drops. I did just get Archmage, right? That is something that I got. See, every time I use this, I get actually a lot of money. So it is picking up. All right. We have so many snipers trying to make us money for this. This is outrageous. I want to use Banana Farm next time. Okay, next one is I want to use Banana Farm. I want to be able to just... Or do I just wait until the last one and then actually be able to just have a Banana Farm? Do you know how wonderful that would be? Two rounds? Is it greedy for me to go even more? This might have been too greedy. All right, I'm done. I promise. I promise I'm done and I'm getting no more... These are all of the snipers that I'm going to get. I need to start really focusing. I mean, I guess it is only round 80. But we're still going around 120, right? So we still have, what, 40 more rounds to go? And we can always sell if we're, like, really desperate. So, you know. Boss is showing up. I'm a little bit scared. We can just get some more monkey aces, too, right? Like, Sky... Let's get Sky Shredder. If I can get Sky Shredder, I think we can do a buttload of damage. Only 38,000. And Sky Shredder does... A crazy amount of damage. All right, let's go. Sky Shredder. All right, boom. Baba Boosh. All right, all right. Put up another wall of trees open. I'd love to get a Flying Fortress. A Flying Fortress would be huge. Uh, Wizard Monkey's doing good. I would like to get the Phoenix, I think. If I can get this guy, how much does it cost? $50,000? I'm down. I also haven't gotten the Elite Sniper, which is kind of funny. But okay, we got Wizard Lord Phoenix. That's a lot of balloons that just showed up. But I don't really care too much. I think we're doing good. Keep throwing trees up because Oban, Oban is also making us money. Benjamin. I totally forgot that Benjamin is a hero. That is going to be crucial. Okay, give me a sniper and target strong and get me this. That's going to be doing a lot of damage. Cripple Moab. Boom. All right, we got Cripple Moab and our Cripple Moab is killing it now. All right, and Wizard Lord Phoenix. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we're actually doing great now. This is only the T3 boss, but I'm fine. I'm happy with that. Do I want to get an upgrade to the sniper? Probably so, right? And then elite, and then just get elite defender. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that damage. Very nice. All right, we actually did great. And then 12 rounds. So, yeah, they've all made like $6,000. And they all sell for like $10,000 too. So... More supply drop snipers? Sure. We have 11 rounds to just put down an army of supply drop snipers. We're actually doing really good for this first boss. I was a little concerned, but with only three towers, we've been doing great. So I think if we can keep this up, and which we are, we might be able to get a Paragon. Wizard Paragon would be kind of hilarious. I should have gotten Boomerang. In hindsight, I should have gotten Boomerang. Actually, I'll do Boomerang and Village. That's what, that'll be the next combination. Oh, I did use a lot, I did use two of my militaries. So I have to make sure I don't use all of them for Dread Blue. We have six rounds, we have so many snipers. We have so many snipers. This is ridiculous. I think Flying Fortress is the next, is the next setup, I think. 24? Oh my gosh, that's so much money. And we have seven. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we still have more too. Nice. And Flying Fortress. That's so good. All right, Prince of Darkness. Let's get ourselves a Prince of Darkness. I feel like that's going to be really nice. We have 750,000 damage to do. I'm a little bit worried about the 3 million mark. Okay, uh, we could get Star Bomba. Star Bomba is like the last T5 that we have not gotten. So I think if we just get Sarbamba, that's every T5 now. I, there's no way we can get the Magus Perfectus. I just don't think that's going to happen. And we should have, like, Max Snipers 31. How much do these sell for? They sell for 10,000 each. All right. And so, as soon as the skull goes off like that, boom. Oh, I didn't drop the Sarbamba. All right. I didn't drop the Sarbamba at the right time. Okay, that was definitely a mistake. All right, we're at around 100 now. What can we get? We might need to get just get one more tower because I don't think we're... There's no way we can get... There's no way we're going to be okay with this. So we need to get one more tower. What's a tower that we can use? Super Monkey's nice. I want to hold on to Ninja. 
because I want that Paragon. So it needs to be a non-Paragon tower. I could just get Spike Factory and get Super Mines. I think Super Mines seems like a really good option here. Do we go Super Mines? Or do we get Engineer? Engineer may helps make money though, because it can boost banana farms. So I don't think I want to do that. I want to save Village. I'm really thinking about Bee Sandler could be good. I want Spike Factory for Dread Balloon. What can I use? It needs to be like a primary, but none of these primaries are going to do anything. We have 10 rounds. I need to make a decision. All right, these, how many do I have? I have 37. They send for 10,000 each. That's like $400,000. Not enough for a Paragon. Or it's not for a par enough for a Paragon of a tower that I have down currently. So I have to get another tower or I just need to spam, spam those. And I don't think that's going to be enough. I have $200,000. I could get a Dartling Gunner or a Super Monkey. Man, these are all really difficult choices. Because we have T5s of all of them. Maybe I'll have enough for something. I don't know. I have I have seven rounds to make a decision. And this is a difficult decision to make. Like, Glue Monkey and Ice Monkey, I really don't care about. But that is, I really don't think they can do that much for me. I think maybe just spamming down T4s of the Flying Fortress could be a good option. I think that could be really good. All right, that's $280,000. Like that is a lot of money. That has 400,000 pops. We need 3 million damage. Can we do 3 million damage? I think, I think if we put enough of these down, I think it's, I think we can. Because they do a lot of damage. Cause they are $20,000, right? So they cost a lot of money. And I think if we put enough of these down, I think we're gonna be able to deal with Lunarius. It's 3 million HP. It'll be close, but I think it's what we need. And if we can do it with only three bosses or only three towers, not including like a significant money making, I think that's pretty impressive. Okay, we're gonna turn off auto start i think and then we're gonna sell all of our snipers these are i don't know if these are doing enough damage oh my gosh it's so much money we invested a ridiculous amount of money into those we have two hundred thousand dollars okay we could have gotten a cheaper paragon we could have gotten one of them but i was not thinking ahead i have to pray that this will defeat it if this doesn't defeat it i am in big trouble all right, uh, yeah, la, 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 wizards, I'm sure. Okay, all right, let's go. It's not taking a lot of damage. It is not taking a lot of damage right now. It is not taking a lot of damage in the slightest. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it. If we take a loss, we might have to put down a tower like Boomerang, and then try to get a Boomerang Paragon. This is gonna be so close. I'm so scared! All right, we've done 500,000 damage. It's already around the first bend. This is, I don't think we, I am, I am not, this is not looking good. I am waiting to use the Sarbomba for the prime spots, right? So as soon as, all right, all of these bosses come out, and then once the bosses land on the ground, okay, then I use Sarbomba, right? Yeah, that's that's a decent amount. That's a lot of DD2s. Okay. Uh, what would you consider like halfway through the map? Probably around that second bend, right? I don't think we have it. I don't think we've got this. What is something that we could put down that like that could save our save our butts right now? I uh, I haven't put down any other towers. This is at wait a minute. It's getting kind of close. Sarbamba is. This is spooky. Okay, I can't get the Magus Perfectus. And maybe if I sold everything, I could have gotten the Paragon. Okay. We just got it halfway. Is it halfway along the map, though? I don't know! Oh, my gosh! This is terrifying! I think we might have it, but I don't know. Please. It is slow, but it's there. The dream is there, my friends. And it is a beautiful dream, okay? It's a dream that we all share. We also have to beat it before round 140 or else we also lose, which is uh, 14 rounds. So, all right, the next, oh, we got it down to 700,000. All right, uh, all right, I need to just put down more towers. I didn't believe, but I believe now. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Okay, I can't even. How did I lose?
Wait, what happened? What do you mean? Can I retry last round or do I have to... What is retry last round? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's all these DDTs. Oh, no, 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 no. Because it's the lead. Oh, my gosh. It's just a never-ending army. All right, Wizard Lord Phoenix, please take out these fortified DDTs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow, we're so close. Okay. Okay. Um... Oh no, this is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Come on. I don't like you DDTs. All right, what can I what can deal with more DDTs? Okay. I guess like ground zeros cuz I guess some ground zeros can do this Wizard Lord Phoenix again. All right, we're down to 280,000. Oh my gosh, it is so close. Come on, is that 230,000? I can't lose again. If we lose again, it's all ogre. 100,000. All right. Oh my gosh. 50,000. Oh my gosh. 20,000. Those DDTs are sneaking up on me. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. Okay. That's the first one. Okay. Go, go, go. On to the next boss. Next up is Lich. Oh no. Okay. So no buffs. No buffs. When each skull in his reach list go ethereal, resurrecting. Okay. Okay. So we can't do Monkey Meadow anymore. So I guess we can just do. Uh, let's just do in the loop for the Lich. Okay. And. All right, let's run it. Okay, so we already have our blacklisted towers. We are not allowed. All right, just start it. All right, let's do ninja. Yeah, let's do ninjas and let's do banana farms. Banana farms and ninjas. I feel like that's really all we need, right? I think that's gonna be fine. Why do I have, okay, I need a ninja like all the way down here, right? Oh my gosh, I have auto start on. I'm wasting so much time. Yeah, I just need more banana farms. I think like, I think more banana farms, the better. I think. Now that we have a banana farm, I think we can go like crazy, right? So ninja discipline, sharp shurikens, uh, seeking shuriken, go crazy. Go crazy on us ninja monkey. I think we can just solo it with the ninja monkeys. I, okay, maybe we can't solo it. We might need to get one more tower, but ninja paragon is definitely what we're gonna be getting. And that's what's gonna carry us through this. And we have banana farms. So we're not gonna have a lot left. We, we, we're not gonna have that much. And we have to keep in mind Dread Balloon. Maybe we do Ninja mixed with Bomb Shooter because I do feel like I have some problems with Lead Balloons. Alchemist could be pretty good. Alchemist, oh, no, no, no. We're not using Alchemist against Lich. Remember, we can't use any buff base towers because Lich will absorb it. So that's something that we have to really keep in mind. We have also Dread Balloon and Phase and Vortex. Holy cow. Uh, Dread Balloon, I'm definitely going to use Spike Factory against Dread Balloon. Um, alright, how many banana farms do I actually need? I think this should be enough, right? Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, we'll just get a couple of increased productions. And then I'll probably want to sell these. Because again, I'm trying, we're trying to speed run these, okay? Lunarius, we scraped by, we like ba made it by, but we can still make up time. Do I want to turn these into marketplaces? I kind of do, right? Because if I can get these into marketplaces. Ooh. Alright, we need to get I need to get caltrops and I need to get double shot. Because look at this, look at all this wasted time. Wasting all of my time. I don't like it. Okay. And double shot. Nice. We do have lead balloons to deal with soon, but I ain't too worried about it. Okay. Uh banana salvage and marketplace i basically just need like a singular sticky bomb or maybe just like a couple of them and then lich boss is just done so it makes my life so much easier knowing that i can just like i'll just not have to worry about money and i can get a paragon right like the the sniper wizard like plane was just bad it worked barely i had to use my one life and so i like Barely got out alive. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me I can't. Okay, fine. I'll sell this and get a flash bomb. That's so sad. I wasn't paying attention to the rounds. If I can get a banana central, I'll be like cooking. And a sticky bomb. Let's see. How much does a banana central cost? I actually could just like get a banana central. Nine rounds? Alright, let's do it. I'm going for a banana central over here. Boop. 
Long life, valuable bananas. Oh, wait, I can do an MIB. Not MIB, IMF. I want to get I am lift load because I am F load is really good. I'll just go into crippling debt. I didn't get a hero again. Oh my gosh. I got to chill out. I got to chill out. I have to remember to get a hero next run. I'm fine because I, and I can't use Oban because I've already used, I used Oban in the last run. So I actually just can't put him down anymore. I, at some point, if you guys ever want to see me do this run again, I'd be super, I'd be super down. Maybe we do this, but with elite bosses. Holy cow. That would be wild. We have four rounds until this behemoth shows up. Ooh, I can go into debt. Ha, ooh. I'm going into debt. I'm getting more boom, boom. And he shows up in three rounds. IMF loan again. Let's go. And there's 2,000 in the bank. I'm going to put... I need a sticky bomb here. I need 5,000. And then I can get sticky bomb. And then once I have sticky bomb... Look at this wasted time that I have here. I'm so ashamed of myself. Okay, sticky bomb. Sharp shurikens. There we go. That should be enough to deal with this boss. Emphasis on should. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that it is enough. I'm just gonna loan my way to the top. Actually, maybe, okay, I, I'm gonna just have three IMF loans. I'm not gonna go crazy on the loans. Okay. Yeah, it only has 14,000 HP. Like, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's gonna send out the little guy, though. I don't like the little guy. But sticky bombs do, like, tons of damage to it. And marketplaces recoup lives against the Lich. So I am, I'm actually, like, mega cruising right now. Uh, I think we're good. I think I want to put, like, another balloon jitsu down. Ooh, I don't like that mo up there. Okay. Nice. Balloon jitsu. Good. And sticky bombs. All right, we're doing lots of damage. Very, very, very nice. Oh, wait. I can... Why wouldn't it tell me that I could use that? Oh, very rude. Okay, there we go. We're making a lot of money now. We are made a lot of money. Okay, central market. I want to get a monkey Wall Street. That's $70,000. If I get a monkey Wall Street, we're going to be, like... The ultimate cruising. 12,000? Nice. It's $70,000 to get a monkey Wall Street, though. This is definitely not the most efficient way to do my things. Next round? Wait, what is next? Is Vortex? What do I want to do against Vortex? Okay, what do I have for money? I, for money, I still have... I have Buccaneers, which I'll use against Dread Balloon, probably. And then I have Village for money and I have Benjamin for money and I also have um, Heli Pilots for money. $18,000 in the bank total. Uh, we're trying to save up that 70,000. If I can get that 70,000 to get Monkey Wall Street, I'm gonna be really happy. And we're almost there too. Monkey Wall Street, let's go. It is so glorious. I think I really only want one monkey, like a Monkey Nomics too. If I can get a Monkey Nomics, I'll be happy. All right, I need to get Master Bomber before the end of next round. And then also Grandmaster Ninja. I, I think I'm going to take a, a short break on being a money fiend. Where is... Okay, I can collect that. I can do that. 52,000. All right, Master Bomber. Boom. Baba Booey. All right, nice. We're rolling in it now. I don't want to take out any more debt loans. I want to be... I want to be debt free. I guess I can do Shinobi Tactics, right? Because I don't think... Shinobi Tactics are permanent buffs. So I don't think it really matters too much. Will I be okay? Do I? All right, I'm just going to get the Grandmaster Ninja. I'm not going to worry about it. Should I get another, like, thing? Will I need it? I don't want to get going to more debt. Do I want to try to get, like, some Banana Centrals? Let's just see how well we do against the boss now. That might be a, that might be a telling sign. We have 52,000. We do a lot of damage, actually. All right, Master Bomber is so goaded. I don't... We have... Oh, we have... Nothing to worry about. Master Bomber is melting this boss. Boom. 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 I love Master Bomber. Thank you, Master Bomber. Nice. And we have 11,000. Yeah, we have 500 lives. How do we get 500 lives? That's a lot of lives. Nice. All right, 11,000. 20,000 in the bank. And then, of course, at the end of every round, look at this. But Monkey Wall Street's already paid off all of its debts. Uh, that was a little scary. All right, max. Collect all. All right, monkey nomics. Nice. We have monkey nomics. Do we want to get like bananas? Might as well. We're trying to get paragons here. Like we're trying to get a very expensive paragon. We need to make sure that we're getting money too. So we need to make sure. What am I doing? I got to put them all around this thing because it collects them for us. All right, we can sell that too. And we want everything to just be within this radius because then it just makes money for me. That's so cool. And now we have a nice debt-free, beautiful $10,000.
Banana research facility. Oh, I have so much range on this. I'm so glad that they buffed the range on this. And you can just put, like, a ton of banana farms next to it. It used to not be very good. But now with the buff and, like, a huge range increase, it's so good. Oh, we have 11 rounds on the next boss. Oh, no. I need Grandmaster Ninja. And I need some Shinobi Tactics. I think... I think we're going to be fine. We could just sell everything and get the Paragon. I don't know if we'll have enough to get the Paragon. I mean, just one Paragon is going to be enough, right? I think that's going to be, like, perfect. I could just sell everything and just get the Paragon. Which I should just, like... Oh, this wait, this is Grandmaster Ninja? Okay. I can just go ahead and get Balloon Sabotage. $500,000. Let's see. 87000 Okay, I can't get it yet. How much is in the bank? 24000 Okay. We're getting there. We're getting close. Uh, maybe... I don't think if I sold everything I'd have enough. Which shows that my... My eco is not very good when it comes to doing bosses. I'm not a boss race kind of person, but... Oh, we annihilated that balloon. That balloon got messed up. We need 500000 for Ascended Shadow. Which also leaves... Uh, two very cheap Paragons. It leaves the Dart Monkey and Boomerang Paragon, which are going to be very, very crucial for the, for the up-and-coming bosses. I think we'll use Boomerang Paragon. Oh, are we okay here? Yeah, we're okay. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, I gotta go Bomb Shooter right now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, wow, I created a regrow farm. That was my one loss. That was my one loss and... Oh, but it... Oh, but it backed off my bomb shooters. So I don't have to use bomb shooters anymore. Okay, so I put down bomb shooters, but since I reset it, I technically haven't used bomb shooters yet. Now the question is, what do I want to use? So just ninja monkeys ain't gonna cut it. Druids? But Druid makes money. And I like... I don't really need anything. Like I don't really need anything. So what's like glue gunner? I'm not gonna use glue gunner. I'll go glue gunner. That I'll I'll literally just that'll be balloon solver. Lab, that's it. That's literally all that I needed. Look at that. All right, that was that. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, glue gunner, for saving me. I wasn't gonna use it anyways. So now that I just have it, that is beautiful. Now this is the round 80 boss. I think we just save up money and get start getting the Paragon, right? $500,000. Okay, I'm gonna sell this guy, which is, I know, a little bit tragic. But I think I want the Ninja Paragon right here. I hope it has a better range than that, because that'll be really sad. But I want it to have that kind of range. All right, so this sells for 100,000. So let's say, okay, let's say it's 300,000. And then, uh, are we okay here? Whoa. I might need to start, like, stepping it up here. Because I don't really have all of that much stuff. So maybe we just, like... I mean, we can just put down some balloon Shinobi Tactics, right? Or I don't need... Okay, we just need Shinobi Tactics. Because Shinobi Tactics helps quite a bit. So the more Shinobi Tactics we have, the better it's going to be. Oh, I can't... Wait, I don't think it wants me to sell towers, so... Oh, yeah, we're fine. We are fine. We can't sell any towers, by the way, because, you know, that will be problematic. Oh, uh, we might be in trouble, though. We are not doing that much damage. We might need to just get the Paragon. Like, we might need to just take the L and get the Paragon. Or do I want to put... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Collect all. That's 190, 200,000. It's 300,000. So that's 400,000. I think I just sell everything, right? Just get the Paragon. It's gonna, it's just gonna heal. Oh my gosh, I'm putting it back to full HP. But there we go. And Ascended Shadow, give it max money. And boom, okay. All right, that's fine. A 22 degree Paragon. And that should be all I need. Yeah, it's doing so much damage, nice. And we have like a thousand lives. Okay, and it has a pretty good range and a pretty good reach, so not bad. I guess we could just get all of the glue gunners down now, right? <laughs> I could sell this and just get my banana farms back. Nah. I can just go and just try to put them back down again. 
I think that's probably the better option. And now we're just like spawn camping this. It feels so good to have a Paragon. It feels so good to have a Paragon. And it feels so good to have a Blue Gunner. I don't know if that was the right call. I would have liked to have had a higher degree Paragon. 22 is not the end of the world though. I just looked and my glue gunner almost has as many pops as my Paragon. What is that? That is so crazy. All right, well we now we have ourselves a Monkey Wall Street. I don't know why it even like matters. I, guess, I, I don't know what I want to do with this money. Maybe I can try to get a higher degree Paragon, but I really don't think that's going to be possible. We do have the bonus for the Ascended Shadow. Maybe it's nice to get the the master bomber, but I don't think so. I think we're in a like a good spot. We're gonna see. Let's see how well we do against the tier four lich. Because if we can do well against the T4 Lich, I think we're gonna be like, ooh! Like I think we're gonna be ultimate cruising. Okay, 500,000. Oh. We're fine. We're actually fine. We have over a thousand lives. And this boss is dead. It, this boss is so dead. So all we need to do now is just get to round 120. Yeah, that was instant. That was super instant. I have no worries about going up against the next boss. Let's see. What? Wait, glue gunner? How is the glue? Oh, the glue gunner has innate camo detection because of the ninja monkey. That's sweet. Oh my gosh, I needed... Why didn't I have the ninja paragon for the phase boss, though? Oh gosh. Wait, paragons can innately hit camo, right? What am I gonna do against the phase boss? That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a stinker. Is the phase boss the last boss? I think it is. Oh man, that is a that's a doozy. That is a super duper doozy. <laughs> Not just any kind of doozy. We have two hundred thousand dollars. What am I supposed to do with all this money? I could sell it. I could sell my tower and then end up just getting. Try to get a higher degree paragon. Well, okay, so it's worth 400,000, so I'd get 600,000. Oh, plus, plus this, which is another 100,000. Would it be higher than a degree 20? I think it would. I think it would. I'm pretty sure it would. I think if we have enough money for it, it'll be, I don't know, if I do it and it's lower than 22, that would be so sad though. And I have nine rounds. And I don't think it's worth putting in any other like banana farms in nine rounds. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. And we have 300,000. It's gonna be $600,000 and that'll be $700,000. I think that's worth it. No, it'll be four, five, six, seven, $800,000. It'll be double. Yeah, I definitely think we should sell it once it's time. Okay, one round left. I'm turning off auto start. I don't want game hints on. I appreciate that though. And I should be, okay. If I don't, if it's like 20, like if it's 19 or below 20, I'm going to be devastated that I did this. But I think it's going to be the play. Okay. All right. So sell, 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 sell. We have 900,000. I will put you right here. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Grandmaster Ninja, Send a Shadow, Max Money. Boom. And it is, oh my gosh, it was lower. It was lower by two levels. That is so devastating. Okay, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be able to do just fine. Imagine I lose because I sold my Paragon. I would never come back to this channel again. I would never come back. Come on, just beat him up. Just beat him up. We're so close. We are so close. And then we can go move on to the next boss finally, which would be really nice. I would love to be able to move on to the next boss. We have three more. I realize that I'm going to descend into insanity during this. Go into complete insanity. That's it. All right, victory. It's been 51 minutes and we've gone against two bosses. We need to pick up the pace. All right, I do not want to play again. I appreciate the offer though. All right, next up, Vortex. All right, uh, in the loop. All right, I want. To, I just want to play on like Cubism. Where's Cubism? Give me Cubism. I just, I just want to play on Cubism. That's all I want. I'm changing heroes. I'm going to do Benjamin. I'm going to do... Do I wait? No, 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 no. I don't think I want to do Benjamin this game. I'm not going to do Benjamin this game. I'm going to do a Boomerang. So who do I want to do? Do I just do Sada? Sada seems pretty cool. Wait, who else can make money? Is there any other characters that can make money? Oh my gosh, Geraldo. Nice. Thank you. All right, and begin. All right, we have Geraldo! Yes! Okay, boop! 
All right, thank you. And start shop and Quincy action figure. Boom. All right, there we go. That is beautiful. All right, what do I want to go up against Vortex? I kind of want to do Boomerang Paragon, I think. I think Boomerang Paragon will be really nice. How about I do Village and Boomerang Paragon? How does that sound? I think that's Village and Boomerang seem like a pretty good combo. And then I can do some, like, maybe Bomb Shooter as well. And then, what do I, wait, what do I want to go up against the, ooh, I am, yeah, okay, all right, okay, 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 I'm so scared, actually, <laughs> we're gonna use Mortar Monkeys for this, but I think, we need to make sure we see, save some primaries, oh my gosh, we have to save primaries, though, for the Dread Balloon, either do Dart Monkey for the Dread Balloon, but he needs lead popping, oh my gosh, I, or do we do, Man, I guess we'll do you save Boomerang Paragon. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I think I think I'll have enough. So I think I can do I think I can use Boomerang Monkey. Cause I think Dart Monkey can pop. I think. Or or bomb shoot. I think bomb okay, bomb shooters is enough for the dread one. I think that's fine. I can do boomerang monkey. And then I can also do a village, right? So we're gonna do village. And then we're going to want to make sure that we go... We want the money-making thing as quickly as possible for this, too. So, Red Hot Rangs. And we need to make sure we have Camo Detection. But we have Geraldo, so we can do Camo Detection. And Geraldo is going to be pretty insane anyways. And we're going to, like, hold on to our Quincy action figure for as long as humanly possible. Let's get Monkey Commerce, Monkey Town. I'm going to get a couple of things, but I think Boomerang Paragon is going to be, like, what carries us. It's only 270,000, so that's gonna be good. So we're gonna just like have them stack around around here. Oh, I just realized I don't have anything that's just gonna like, do I wanna use mortar? Mortars are pretty good against uh, Vortex because it drops directly on top of it and it, it can't be stunned because these towers will get stunned. So I need towers that are kind of like out and doing their own thing. Oh, uh, but I'm not gonna make that much money if I put it on the monkey town. Mm. But it's better than getting than having them stunned and then losing. So I think I'm just gonna save up and get monkey town. That's the first thing because we need as much money as we can get. And I'm not gonna sell the rare, rare Quincy action figure until it's time to get the paragon. This is basically just a free paragon. That's basically what this is turning in for me which is nice and very important. Guys, remember, if you're enjoying this video and you've been watching it for this long, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below bananas, all right? People are gonna come down and go like, why is there so many people saying bananas? I'm just gonna throw camera detection on, on this guy. Wait, how long does it last? Because the effects will wear off. If it wears off before camo balloons, I'm gonna be a little embarrassed. I'm trying to save up and get Monkey Town. It just it gives us extra cash per pop. And that's one of the reasons I was really excited to have this village. All right, we have a lot of towers that are actually banned now. We're gonna be scraping the bottom of the barrel soon. I'm really scared to have to go up against Dread Balloon because Dread Balloon, we don't have to use four towers, but we have to use at least two because of the immunities. Give me that sweet, sweet, sweet Monkey Town. The sooner we get it, the sooner we start making crazy money. And boom, nice, okay. Uh, let's upgrade and Glaives. All right, nice, we got Glaives. And now with Glaive Ricochet, all right, we're good. All right, so Vortex appears in 12 rounds. I'm gonna put just one tower here, at, just for the giggles, all right? I'm gonna put a lot of my characters and towers around this, just cause I kinda have to. And then we're gonna wanna make sure we get eight rounds. Because the Vortex is going to stone our towers if we're not prepared for it. Which I'm currently not prepared. <laughs> Alright, if we put... Oh, whoops. Okay, we need to make sure we have radar detection. Boom, and then I'm going to get Grove Blocker. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. I've already bought that upgrade. There we go. And then Primary Mentoring. Thank you. And then once we get Primary Mentoring, we can start putting down more Boomerang Monkeys. I also... Alright, let's get Bernie stuff. Faster reload, rapid reload. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that range increase. Super duper good. We are going to have a slight problem here just because the Vortex is going to just like beat us up because he's going to stun all of our towers. So that's why we're going to have mortar monkeys on the outside. Is there anything that I can get that'll help just make money? I don't think so. Not with from these towers. Okay, 20,000. Uh, I kind of want to just get like a turbo charge, right? With red hot ranks. So... Well, we are not doing a ton of damage. 
All right, I need to get... So we're going to have... These are going to be like our big boy damage, right? Artillery battery. Boom. Baba boosh. Thank you. And that'll do a lot more damage. So this is going to push it back and it's going to stun all of our towers. See, ready? Boom. See, and it stuns all of our towers. Not good. Uh-oh. All right. I don't like... I might need to put a village down somewhere. This is only the first tier, and it's giving us this much trouble. I don't like that. Boomerang Monkey might not have been a very good choice. <laughs> All things considering. All right, there we go. Ooh, this is doing a little bit more damage. All right, faster throwing. Target strong. Nice. Boom. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. I definitely want to get primary expertise as my next thing. And then obviously pop and all. Pop and all is going to be really strong. See how this is saving us because everything else is just stunned right now. And primary expertise. Nice. And that's going to help out a bunch. This vortex is getting way further. This is the first tier. This, I think we're going to need to call in support from another tower. Definitely. Maybe submarines. I kind of like the idea of submarines here. We do have a submarine paragon that we can get. But I don't think we're going to need it. We have two more bosses after this. We have Dread Balloon and we have Phase. I do think we'll be fine. Or, yeah, yeah, I think Sub is going to be a good option here. I think. And then we could also try to get yeah, the Nautic Siege Core 400,000. I'm down for Submarine, actually. Oh, but I don't get any money. I don't get any money from Monkey Cam. And I want money. I want money from Monkey Cam. Is there anything else that I can do that makes money? I could do Engineer, and I can get XXL Trap, and that makes a lot of money. What am I going to do next game? It is going to be Dread Balloon. I have so many towers still, I feel like. All right, let's use Engineer Monkey, because that also will help us make money, and I can do some Century Champions. It doesn't make me that much money, though. Is it really worth it? We're going to find out. All right, XXL Trap, and then obviously Larger Service Area. All right, we're going to put that, like, right there. Hopefully, that'll make us, like, a lot of money. I hopefully that'll make us like a big amount of money. Let's see, permacharge. I think Moab domination is gonna be like the next thing we should get. But this guy shows up in two rounds. I don't know what I'm most, I am not that much stronger than I was. This is not actually that good. I have a couple of things that I can use though. Oh wait, I want the were rabbit. The were rabbit's sick. Okay, the were rabbit's really good and $12,000. That's not bad. Right, this is $62,000. Okay, Glaive Lord. Permacharge. I'm gonna get Permacharge. Permacharge is sweet. And then look at this. Permacharge. Boom! Nice. Nice! Go Permacharge! Go Permacharge! Alright, Permacharge again. Alright, I need this to, like, deal with anything that tries to get by. I also want to put a village down here so I can see camo balloons. Because without camo balloons, I'm kind of in trouble. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing good. We're doing good. Boomerang. Our boomerang monkeys are going crazy. I still want the boomerang paragon. All right. There we go. And this is making me a decent amount of money, the engineer paragon. Not the engineer paragon, but the XXL trap. It's like not an insane... Oh, wait. I need to get monkey city. With monkey city, my engineer will make even more money. So, nice. I'm so... Vortex dies so fast. That is so nice. Vortex plummets. All right. Let's see. This is worth $56,000 now. Let's go rare Quincy action figure. I definitely want all the boomerang paragons, which again is like very counterintuitive from what you're supposed to be doing against Vortex because if everything is like uh, clumped together, that's bad news. That's super bad news. But I'm going to get the were rabbit. So now we have the were rabbit that's going to be doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I got the genie, which is nice. Anything else from this shop? I could do the super monkey, but I don't want to put down dart monkeys. Right? I don't want to put down any dart monkeys. That's a... That is not good. So we're going to end up not doing that. This is worth $65,000. Let's see. Uh, I have 47000 Moab domination, I think, is next up on the list. Do, is there anything that I can put down? Or I could get an ultra boost. What's... What is, is there anything worth ultra boosting? I don't think so. All right, Moab Domination. 
which is a global Moab Smackaroonier, which is very nice. Boss appears in six rounds. We did pretty good against it last time, and now we have, we can actually almost get the Glaive Dominus, which is really cool. It's worth $87,000 on the Rare Quincy action figure. See, Engineer Monkey's made $40,000. I don't know if it means it's made you that much money. I, I don't know exactly what that means, but it's still a lot of money. It's a lot of money, and I'm definitely glad we used the Engineer Monkey. I definitely want to get a pop and off or something in case we have, in case tragedy strikes. And I have a feeling that tragedy just might strike. So I want to make sure, maybe we get the biggest one. I think pop and all is nice, just like having the ability, but it enhances the BAD and boss damage of all artillery batteries. I do want to get a couple of artillery batteries, which will be really good. And then, ooh, but the biggest one. We can get Bernie stuff, and then we can get the big one. The big one! Come on! One round. Are we ready for this bad boy? I want to get the biggest one. That's thirty-six thousand dollars. I think that I think that's reasonable. Oh, let's also get jungle drums. All right. Uh, why does it have three hundred thousand HP? That's a lot of HP. That's way more than I thought it was gonna have. Can I get the biggest one? All right, we got the biggest one now, which does a ton of Bernie stuff damage. All right, it's gonna see. It's gonna get pushed back and just like hurt. It hurts a lot. Nice big money. Uh, what do we want to grab down here? I kind of want to get the next T5 of this bad boy. Thank you. How's Geraldo doing? I can put down the genie, right? There we go. I think the genie is going to be nice, right? Yeah, the genie does a lot of damage. And shattering shells, balloon incineration. Nice. Thank you. And boom. Yeah, balloon incineration. Does balloon buster? No, doesn't. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's just like a lot of fire damage. That's a lot of fire damage. It's gonna get pushed back one more time. Good, we need, all right, what's this worth? 137, okay, nice. If we didn't have these uh, mortar monkeys, we would have been in big trouble. We have the engineer, I totally forgot about that. Okay, ooh, what do we wanna do with the engineer monkey? Do we wanna just get the ultra boost? Is that, is that what we wanna do? That seems pretty good. Sentry Champion's also, like, really strong. Especially if I put the Sentry Champion, like, probably right way over here, I think, is a good spot. Because I want them to be as far away as possible from other towers. So they don't, they're not all clumped together against Vortex. Right? Like, that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem. All right, we didn't do that well. I'm going to be honest. We didn't do that well. We need the Paragon before the next round. So we need to be prepared for that. Quincy action figure is worth 150,000. The longer we can hold on to it, the better it's gonna be, obviously. I don't think we can hold on to it for much longer though. I think we're gonna, it's 275. I think we're gonna just barely be able to get this Paragon, which is going to be able to get us the W. Ooh, oh wait, boost your Paragons. Oh, but it's 26,000. If, if it needs it, I will get it. And then we also have like the fire things too. All right, we've got, a, we've got options. Geraldo was a really good choice this game. Geraldo is super solid. Next up is Dread Balloon. So Dread Balloon will do Admiral Brickle. And we'll do uh, uh, Merchantman. That's, I think, what we'll do. And then Phase, we can use Benjamin to make money. And then we can use uh, all the remainders on that. That'll be so nice when we're like up against phase and we're like, oh man, like that's all we got left. Like that's all we got to do. We also haven't used Darling Gunner. I'll probably use Darling Gunner against phase. Oh my gosh. Okay. These guys need to go. You guys are wasting so much time. All right. We'll put biggest one over there. Two rounds. We're going to be good. We're going to be able to have enough. Okay. Uh, with Geraldo. All right. Let's put down these things, the Paragon totems, because that gives us higher degree Paragons, which is exactly what we need and I can get another one all right nice time to sell Quincy action figure all of it goes into Glaive Dominus um I also am gonna sell this because that's even more money is there anything else that's like a I don't need no okay max Glaive Dominus hundred thousand come on give us something good 30 nice okay it does get stunned but he does a ton of damage 
He does a ton of damage. As soon as he gets unstunned, yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. Uh oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. DDT, DDT, DDT's incoming. Okay, I don't like that. All right, I need more. I can't, I can't survive with just this. Can I? Oh my goodness. All right, I need to get, uh, I need more backup. I need more backup for when, if this guy like explodes on us. Cause I almost lost there. Like doo doo cheese rush by? When these get stunned, that's not good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put another village back here. And I'm gonna do a primary mentoring and I'm gonna put the T5s down for the boomerang monkeys again. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause if the vortex comes out and stuns my paragon and then I just lose, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. So I need to make sure that I've got all of these like on lock, that like nothing is getting by. Ooh, long range, yeah, let's go. And then I'm gonna put you, ooh, having that right there might be nice. Thank you. And this will be Glaive Lord. We're making a lot of money still, which is nice. Uh, Quincy action figure, $200,000, anybody? <laughs> no. No, 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 I'm not buying that. This guy, it doesn't matter. We can put him like way over here. This is gonna be our Moab domination. I don't think I'll have enough money, but if I do somehow end up getting enough money for the Moab domination. So these, this is basically our backup, right? This is uh, if our towers get stunned and DDTs are going to the exit, which realistically I should have gotten Moab domination to begin with because obviously that's like way more important. I feel like we've been crushing Vortex. I feel like we've been doing a really good job with this so far. I am very pleased with this. All right, he appears in five rounds and Moab domination, check. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what else do we need then? Uh, we can always just just go ahead and then just get some artillery batteries, right? The more artillery batteries we have, just the better. Like I'm, we got to put every ounce of dollars into it. I never got a ultra boost. I'm losing my mind as we descend into this. I am beginning to lose my mind, 2.5 million? Oh my gosh. This has a lot of HP. This has a lot of HP, actually. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hope it doesn't... Oh, he didn't... Oh, no, 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 no. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. How long is he stunned for? Paragon, Paragon, push him back. All right, I'm gonna... I don't know if that's worth it, but that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. He's almost at the halfway point! Oh, he's gonna stun all of these towers. Oh no, that's a lot of things that just got stunned. He's at half HP, and he's about halfway along the track. This is gonna be close, actually. All right, come on, use everything we got. More damage, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I want a super monkey next game. I want it. I want a super monkey. I'm surprised I haven't ended up using a super monkey. Okay, there we go, that's it. That's it, he's done, he's done. He is toast. All right, next one, what are we doing next one? We have Dread Balloon. Yeah, we're doing Super Monkey. We did it. We actually defeated Vortex. Hour and 15 minutes. So, all right, change boss, Dread Balloon. Nice, okay, we can't do Cubism anymore. Let's do four circles. All right, normal and Oh, whoa, I almost didn't change my hero. Uh, Benjamin's for the last one. So if I'm not gonna do Benjamin, who's gonna be really good? Sada's pretty good. I did say I wanted to do Brickle, didn't I? Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm doing, I can't do this. I'm doing, I'm doing Buccaneers and this is like such a bad map for Buccaneers. Ooh, this would be pretty good for Buccaneers actually. I can't put a ton of them down though. I kinda wanna do this, if we're doing Buccaneers, let's do Lotus Island. All right, nice, change hero, we're gonna do Brickle, boom. All right, and go. All right, override save. I don't care, get into it. Let's run it. All right, uh, we have so many things that are banned. A eh, crazy amount. Okay, Brickle will be here. Nice, I'm gonna put one boat here because we wanna like speed run it. We wanna just pop things as quickly as possible. I think I just rush Merchantman, like straight up. Okay, maybe Grape, <laughs> great. Okay, also Grape Shot, because Grape Shot's really nice. This is gonna be our money-making thing. So remember, we have Dread Balloon. The thing with Dread Balloon is he's immune to specific category types of towers. I'm gonna save Super Monkey 
and Heli Pilot and Benjamin for the next run at least. So I can use pretty much anything else that I want to use. So Dread Balloon has lead like properties and he reduces everything that's not too damaged. So we need to make sure we do a lot of damage. Let's see, what other options do we have? Uh, Paragon wise, we're definitely just going to be doing um, Navark of the Seas. So we need to make sure we get enough money for that. And that's gonna be like our main source of damage. Uh, and then I also wanna get super mines. A lot of things, a lot of things that I wanna end up getting. Basically, we're just gonna be getting as many uh, merchantmen as possible. And these are just gonna like keep the game going. They're gonna keep it fresh. They're gonna pop lots of balloons. And then, uh, I mean, Admiral Brickle's gonna have our huge mines and we're gonna have subs. And so what do we need for the first one? So he starts immune to primary. And then it goes to military. Like, I think it goes in order. It's primary, military, magic, and support. So I think I also want to put a... Like a, a spike factory, like, right in the beginning. Just to do a ton of damage. Later on. Later on. Like, that's, that is not a now thing. I'm going to get hot shots on one of them. The weird thing about Buccaneers, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you want to alternate between um, hot shots and grape shots. Because if you upgrade to hot shots, it, they become weak to purple balloons. Purple balloons can get through hot shots. So you wanna have some, at, at least some as grape shot so you can deal with literally all, all balloon types, which is pretty cool. You don't need like a lot, but just like, just a couple. Cause if a purple rush gets to you and the others just put them on fire anyways. And so it also allows you to pop leads. So it, it's, a, it's a funny mixture, but we are starting to make a lot of money now. I am going to just be putting down merchantmen. Another cool thing, which I've recently learned about, uh, see the purple balloons almost got through, but something that I've recently learned, which I didn't know this was a thing, that normally you need $13 million in order to get a Paragon. However, a Paragon's calculation actually is, money is worth seven times the amount. So when you do like Merchantmen and then you upgrade, it becomes super high level. I mean, we're gonna need something soon other than that, but I mean, look at all the money we have. We have a lot of money. We're do we've got a lot of money. Merchantmen. I'm putting a lot of money into Grape Shot when I don't even know if I need to be putting money into Grape Shot. I'd like to get a Trade Empire too. I, I think I just want to get like Spike Storm. Spike Storm's really good because it does extra damage against Moabs. And so we need to make sure we have that multi damage hit from. Because Dread Balloon takes away. If it's not more than. If it's like less than one damage, it doesn't do damage at all. And that's, like, not fun. Monkeys and Radius have increased sale value. It stacks five times? Wait, what? I did not know Favor Trade stacks five times. Wait, what? Okay, well, Trade Empire's 23,000. I'd love to be able to get Trade Empire. And it increases money that merchantmen make. Okay, so we have this. I'm gonna put this thing right here. I'm gonna have two. Oh, wait. Have I used Spike? No, I haven't. Okay, so we we can use Spike Factory because I, I've been saving Spike Factory. I kind of panicked for a moment, but we're good. We're good. We're good. I was like a little bit worried, but we're fine. Is this? All right. Are we going to be enough? I think we're fine, right? Yeah, we're doing so much damage. All right, we can do this. And then look. Boom. All right. So it's immune. Oh, because oh, it's doing a little bit of damage. Not a ton of damage, though. Uh, are we okay here? Now it's gonna be immune to, to military, which is fine. I don't really care too much because we have, oh, that's not good. All right, so that does an okay amount. What do I wanna get? What, all right, what have I not gotten? Probably just bomb shooter, right? I think just a bomb shooter will just like solve all my problems. Cause I, I can't, I used a bomb shooter, but it doesn't count. So I'm still allowed to use bomb shooters. So I'm gonna use bomb shooter and I'm gonna get a Moab assassin and I'm gonna put that on strong. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, we are, we're cooking, we are cooking. All right, we're immune to military. All right, I can use this. All right, we're back in it. All right, we have so much money. All right, I want a trade empire. Let me get a trade empire. I'm almost there, it's 23,000. Okay, boom, we got trade empire. All right, and now it's immune to support. All right, whatever, I don't care. We have Moab Eliminator, which is just going to pummel and bully all of these guys. Oh, wait, is he immune? All right, I don't really care. Nice. I, I, it's funny that I have nobody near Brickle. Like, I don't have a single person near Brickle right now. And the whole thing is, like, Brickle is very important to have. I'm still just, like, favorite traits. Like, more money. 
More money, more money, more money. I think the more favorite trades I get, the more that all of them make at the end of the round, right? So let's see, wait. Yeah, 700. So it was 700, and let's see if it changes now. 740. Yeah, and so each of them make just a little bit more money now. So this is going to scale ridiculously. This is basically me with the snipers at the beginning of this video. I'm just like going crazy. You get so much money at the end of every round now. So it has a max stack, but it, wait, does this not? Oh wait, does this not get the, the bonus? Does this only get like a little bit? Even if it does, I don't think I really care. Yeah, so that only gets 500. But still, $500 a round is nothing to scoff at. So I'm, let's see, 500 a round in 10 rounds, it's gonna pay for itself. Yeah, these are worth having. This guy's gonna show up in one round. So all I need, all right, Carpet of Spikes, and then Moab Eliminator. I can also put Mega Mine down, and Mega Mine just does the crazy damage. And then boom, now we have Moab Eliminator. Look at this, boom. All right, there we go, and, oh wait, it's only immune to military, so it's boom. All right, now it's immune to magic, which we don't have any magic towers, so we don't care. And then now it's immune to support, which is a little devastating. We are doing so much damage. Oh my gosh, done. He's out of here. Back to placing boats. All right, these are just money-making boats. I'm not putting anything other than these on him. Because they will pay for themselves, and then I can just sell all of them. Or I can use them to upgrade my Paragon because I am going to be getting a Paragon. And that'll be my military Paragon. And I think Dread Balloon is going to be a wrap. Right, like, I, look, we're making, we're making more money than when we had the banana farms. That is crazy. I'm also very glad that I chose this map. This map turned out to be perfect. I want the round to end. I want the, look at how much money we get at every round. How much money? We get like $30,000 every round. So in 10 rounds, that's $300,000. And we still have like 40 rounds to go. We're gonna be able to get Navark of the Seas, no problem. And all of these sell for a bunch of money and they increase their own sellback uh, value. All right, when's the next thing? It's showing up in 10 rounds. Okay, that's fine. All right, Pirate Lord. And then we can also get Carrier Flagship. All right, nice. Uh, I also, we are making so much money. This is ridiculous. I can literally just get Super Mines now. I can just buy super vines. That's crazy. These need to be nerfed. You make way too much money on these things. For the amount of money, that that is unreal. I guess I can just like stack my bomb shooters here in the beginning too. Like I, it doesn't matter, right? All right, balloon crush, faster reload, missile launcher, and then just like extra range. This should just do, yeah, that just like pops them. Nice. All right, there we go. I have all my T5s now. So now all I'm doing is just saving up for Navark of the Seas. And it's round 80. That is insanity. That is absolutely absurd, actually. That's crazy. This has been the strongest strategy so far. Like the synergy with this has been unreal. I want to just see how fast we like pop this balloon. I want to see how much the perma spike does against the dread balloon. All right, so remember it starts off immune to primary. All right, what is, okay, so I can just use that. All right, I can do that. All right, now immune to military, doesn't matter. So we can just hit them with our primary stuff. I mean, they're just hitting our, like our super mines, right? Like our super mines single-handedly just ruining this guy's day. All right, super mines. Do super mines do anything? Not like a ton. All right, it's immune to support now. No, our grand strategy. Supports like uh, this is why I wanted to save Spike Factory for Dread Balloon. Spike Factory absolutely annihilates the Dread Balloon. Thank you. Like, look at how much we rely on the support. That is wild. It felt like it was alive longer on support than all three of the others combined. Look at how much money these all make. These all count. So that's 70,000, 70,000. And of course the pops, right? 58,000. And what is this? What is this made? 37. Trade Empires has made less than our favorite trades. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be insane just getting the Navark of the Seas. Should I try to get it before or just do it on? Yeah, we'll do it on round 100. 
Because I think that'll like help just wipe wipe it out very quickly. Boss appears in 13 rounds. We got this. We got this. And then there's only one boss remaining. So we can already go ahead and buy the Navarg of the Seas. But I want to just save up all of our money. I want to make sure I'm spamming this ability from the Monkey Buccaneer. Because it'll just allow him to get more pops. Okay, what degree do you, do you think we're going to get on this? 80? I mean, some of these have made like $50,000. Like, that is crazy. It's made $50,000. Oh no, round 95, whatever will I do? I have $822,000. It's not even spawning. Oh no, oh lordy. Oh lordy, lordy, lordy. I am so excited. I'm so curious to see how powerful it's gonna be. Is it going to be as powerful as I think it is? Or is it gonna be only like tier 60? And Brickle's about to be level 100 too. Why did I say 100? I meant level 20. This is making me go crazy. I've been playing balloons all day. I'm on an hour and 30 minutes on the speed run. This ain't a speed run. This is a slow run. We have a million dollars. Here's Dread Balloon. All right, it's time. Navark of the Seas, max money. Let's see. Oh my gosh, degree. 69 let's go let's run it okay primary okay so it's immune to military now which is a slight problem but this is what we've trained for this is why we have like all of the stuff all we have to do is get through this like small portion right this is all this is for all right we might want to put these towers like in a better spot oh my gosh that melts it all right i want to i'm going to sell these two towers because i think they need to be over here I think, it, I think it's much wiser if these are over here. All right, Bomb Blitz. And then I also want to get Balloon Impact with just faster reload. And then the rest of these are literally just Moab Assassins. All of these are just Moab Assassins. That's all of these are for. And all, all we have to do is one, it's, once it becomes immune to military, we fire the missiles, okay? All right, you, I, you, <laughs> charge! Okay, we have, we have a lot of Moab assassins. And I'm very pleased with this. We have 18, seven rounds left. And then we're on to the final boss. Holy cow, we have so many of these. We can just like consistently just keep putting them down because the Navar of the Seas is making us a lot of money. Like it's already made $48,000. We are going to launch an army of missiles. That dread balloon won't have a clue what hits him. He's just gonna come around the corner and get annihilated. This is way too comedical. This is way too ridiculous. All right, this is the last one. All right, here we go. So it's immune to primary right now, which we don't really care about. And get ready, get ready. All right, not yet. Hold. Nice. Okay, mega bomb. Boom. Fire. Boom. Reload the cannons. Nice. Okay. Mega mine. Boom. Sire, the cannons are reloaded. Fire again. All right, boom, another one. Nice. All right, fire another one. The cannons! Fire the cannons! Yes! Oh, wait, we have. We just broke through the shields. We broke through his main defense line. Nice. Reload the cannons! For king and country! And it's Jover. All right, we got him. All right, now, now, now look at the rest of it. All of that work, literally all of that work, and then it's just done like that. That's so sad. All right, Dread Balloon completed. Dread Balloon has been beaten. Has been beaten? Has been beaten. All right, one final boss stands in our way. Okay, all right, phase, nice, boom. All right, normal. All right, Lotus Island. What have we not played on? I haven't played on four circles. Where's four circles? I want to play on four circles bad. We're at 138 minutes. Can we do this sub two hours? That would be crazy. All right. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Home. 
I didn't choose Benjamin as my hero. Benjamin is my hero is crucial. All right, boom. Thank you. All right. I don't, there's no way I can beat this in 20 minutes. There's no way. Okay, let's, uh, what am I doing? All right, just start, just start. I'm gonna hide Benjamin up here. Okay, go. All right, I can do Dart Monkey. All right, so Dart Monkey is possible. Basically, we can put down everything that um, we haven't used yet because this is the last boss, right? This is the last and final boss. Um, we can use Heli Pilot. Okay, let's go. Let's talk about the things we can use. So we can use Dart Monkey. Well, we can use Heli Pilot, which I am gonna use because that makes that'll be our money maker. That's gonna be our money maker, and then we're gonna just put you on pursuit. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go through this. We have Dart Monkey, we have Tack Shooter, we have Ice Monkey, we have Monkey Sub, we have Heli Pilot, we have Dartling Gunner, we have Super Monkey, we have Alchemist, we have Druid, we have Beast Handler. Okay, I'm not gonna use Beast Handler. So, uh, Bigger Jets, IFR, Downdraft. Basically, a uh, Support Chinook is like our only money making thing. Uh, we also have Druid. Uh, I want Spirit of the Forest. So I will be getting Spirit of the Forest. It gives us like $1,000 around. So it's like nothing too crazy. Oh! Oh, you know what I do want? Oh, you know what? Oh, you know. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to get Monkey Sub because I want to get Energizer. Because heroes earn XP 50% faster. And that'll make us that'll make us big money. I'm selling Benjamin. And I'm putting Benjamin here now. Um, Energizer? Getting Energizer is crucial, I think, for money. I know it's $30,000. It's a lot of money. But Benjamin, if we can get Benjamin to his levels, was it? Is it 17? Yeah, $5,000 per round. That's crucial for face. Okay, this is going to be a little bit trickier. This will be a little bit trickier. We're going to need George. I don't really know much about face. Blows back many more balloons. I didn't know that's what support Chinook did. Huh. But that's okay. So, 25 rounds. I don't care. I'm just saving money. What else can make us money? Is there any other tower? I think we've milked all the money-making towers. Drew is like kind of, but not really. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I will eventually get Druid. I mean, I'm gonna try to put down like all of these towers, right? It'll be cool if we actually ended up using all of the towers. I'm just trying to get support Chinook. And then eventually I wanna get special operations because special operations is kind of goaded. Boss appears in 16, 15 rounds. We almost have it actually. We almost have the support Chinook, which is really cool. Uh, we can get Dart Monkey Paragon, which is really cheap as well. I've been wanting to, I, that was kind of an idea that I had is I wanted to make sure Dart Monkey Paragon was available and not used with like a expensive thing. Since we don't have a lot of money making, a Dart Monkey Paragon is going to be kind of our go-to. Not a great map for Dart Monkey Paragon. Not a great map indeed. I can't hit lead balloons, but lucky for us, we can get Alchemist. Lucky for us, we have Alchemist. Ah, uh, yes. It feels good to be able to have Alchemist. Lead to gold! Uh, Alchemist led to gold. We are definitely going to do that. Oh, faster throwing Azure Pole. Give me lead to gold, baby. Lead to gold. Lead to gold. Nice. And then rubber to gold. I don't know if this makes more like a, a lot of money, but I want it. I want it. And then special operations makes a considerable amount of money. The boss appears in eight round. I am not. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Uh, what do I need for that? So that made me a thousand dollars. Six rounds for the phase, and we have like nothing that can do anything to it. Uh, we can't do ninja. Uh, super monkey with ultra vision would be kind of sweet. I'm gonna be really greedy here, because I think we kind of have to. And I'm gonna get one more support Chinook before the round is up. I think that's a good idea. Okay, I don't think it's a good idea. All right, I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh my gosh, the alchemist is making us so much money. Holy cow. I completely forgot that the Alchemist can help make money. All right. Alchemist is... Look at how much money! Oh my gosh, Alchemist, I love you! I love you! You are beautiful! All right, all right. I'm gonna sell this Alchemist, though. <laughs> after, I, I, after I told them my undying love for them, and then I just sold them like it was nothing. I'm a terrible person. Uh, Laser Blast, I guess? It has 10,000. Oh, wait, we're crushing it. We're crushing it right now. Super monkey. Oh, we're doing great. Uh, I'm going to get plasma blast, actually. Ooh, this is... Oh, I'm going to get this. All right, there we go. Dark Knight. All right, Dark Knight. I can do a lot of damage to it. 
Alright, there we go. I just wanted to make sure that works. Can I just save up for special operations? What level is Benjamin? He's level 7. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be okay here. Alright, I can move you... I, and now I can have this Dark Knight, like, follow him around. Oh, wait. It has to be within range. I forgot about that. I'm not used to that. Nice. Oh. Uh-oh. He's, like, out of range almost. Ah! Dark Knight, go! Okay. Dark Knight is sick. Dark Knight works very well. I'm glad we used this. I was kind of worried we weren't going to be able to get the Super Monkey in time, but this, this works out wonderfully. That works out really well. These guys are just, like, rolling in the money right now. And I'm just going to save up and get Special Operations. Because... Special Poperations makes a ton of money. <laughs> it, it makes a ton of money. There's no way I'll be able to do a sub two hour. Maybe, I think it's possible. It's definitely possible. There's no doubt in my mind that it's a possibility. All right, now we can get submarines down. And I'm going to go and get, okay, I want to make sure that like this is a good spot. All right, longer range. He's definitely in range, right? Yeah, there's no way that he's not. Advanced Intel, Bluntonium Reactor, and I want Energizer. So, let's see. How much does that make? See, that makes $5,000. That's a lot of money. And now we're going to have Energizer, which is going to get our Benjamin. Benjamin's going to help out a lot with making money. And so, I really think this Energizer is going to pay off. So, now, he just... I clicked on him and he instantly leveled up. Um, all right, this Heli Pilot has made a decent amount of money. Nice. Oh, I just realized I can get Dark Champion and then put Dark Champion as a door gunner. Which I think I will do. But before we do that, ooh. I think I also want to get the Druid, though. Druid's so good. Because uh, Druid, yeah, Druid will pay for itself. I want to get Spirit of the Forest. $35,000. Spirit of the Forest will do a lot of damage, and it'll help make more money. And it's my favorite tower. Plus, I'm glad we get to use it. Will we, will we be able to use, should we try to use every tower in the game now? That'd be cool if at the end we actually ended up using every single tower. We had quite... We didn't have a ton left over, but we had some left over. Some of them aren't, like, as that as good in these types of game modes. Oh, wait. We have Dartling Gunner, too. Wow, we have a lot of good towers left. I was very generous. Thank you, past me, for being so generous and leaving so many towers to me. Because I could have been really rude and used all of the things... Like, used all the really important things. And I ended up not doing that, which I am very happy about. Uh, looks like we're doing pretty good. I don't think we need to to do anything crazy. Yeah, Benjamin's already level 10. Nice, Benjamin's leveling up crazy fast. I might need a little bit of help here. Uh, how's this doing? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Kind of good. Uh, what... Oh, okay. I need... All right. You need to be, like, teleported over here. Oh, wait. I also have the, the door gunner. The door gunner is really good. And I have $30,000. I think I'm fine, right? Or do I want to get some more stuff? How, how many pops did these get? They're doing okay. Door gunner. Uh, and it has a shield. Ooh. Are we okay here? Do I need to panic? I think we're fine. I'm not panicking. I'm going to get more... I'm just going to get more support Chinooks. Because they make money. And money is really nice. Money is super nice, in fact. And I think we're going to need a lot of it if we want to beat the final stages of this boss. I need to make sure that I'm always using the door gunner. All right, we're making money. We are making money now. I don't know how many of these that I actually want to get down, though. All right, we're kind of like, we're kind of, we're, we got a lot of support Chinooks down. We have a lot of support Chinooks now. Like a ridiculous amount. Um, Do we want more though? That's the grand question. So this has made $25,000. It's definitely made us money back. And they sell for a, like a really high value anyways. Uh, but the boss shows up in like five rounds. So I, I, we were a little bit close last time. A little bit too close for comfort. I think I'd be a little bit more comfort comfortable just getting a Dark Champion. And I can tell... Dark Champion can't teleport anywhere, but I can Door Gunner it. So now we have the Dark Champion that's just going to be running around being a boss. If we can save up and I can get Legend of the Night, I also think that'll be pretty nice. Legend of the Night is going to be really, really cool. Benjamin's leveling up really fast thanks to the Energizer. Soon as Benjamin hits, like, max level, I don't care. Right, that doesn't... I can sell the Energizer, and it has... Actually, no, the Energizer lowers the cooldown 
of all of the money th making things. I didn't even think about that. I wasn't even aware. Oh my gosh, this is actually such a good combo. This is actually a, a winning combo. All right, the boss is showing up. Uh, all right, maybe I shouldn't put down any more support Chinooks. All right, ah, what the heck? I'll do one more. All right, maybe one more. Maybe we can get away with one more. Okay. I mean, we're kind of doing a lot of damage here. So this is doing well for us. All right, let's get... I'd like to get a Tech Terror down. Can I not spit a Tech Terror here? All right, that's fine. I'll put a Tech Terror like here. All right, boom, and Tech Terror. And I have to get Ultra Vision on that. It, it is a little crucial. Benjamin, are you level 20 yet? Or 17? Benjamin's almost 17, so that'll be nice. See, Benjamin's up to $45,000 now. So Benjamin's doing good. I got to make sure I use the door gunner as well. There we go. All right, it just pushed forward a little bit sooner. We can almost get anti-balloon gunner, actually. We're going to have anti-balloon gunner. We're going to have... I We <laughs> just get like a vengeful sun temple. That would be the ultimate flex. That would be the ultimate flex. Boom, anti-balloon gunner. Baba buoy. All right, that is huge, actually. Uh, I think we're fine. Like, I don't think that we really have anything to worry about. I think we can just go ahead and just get more support Shaduks. This is an actual strategy, and it's kind of working really well. All right, it's working way better than I thought it was going to work. Thank you. No, seven minutes. Seven minutes for the two hours. It's not going to happen. I've accepted that. The fact that we might even pull this off at all is awesome to me. Are we doing okay over there? I can't even see the boss. We have so many of these. Uh, geez, look at that. So our Destroyer of Worlds made 36,000. Yeah, it's definitely been worth it. They make so much money. Benjamin's almost level 20 now. All right, six rounds. Uh, Dart Monkey Paragon? That seems like a pretty good option. Do I want a Dart Monkey Paragon or do I just get Legend of the Night? I think we go and we get ourselves a Legend of the Night, right? Five rounds. Uh, I think we can leave that one in there and then we can just go and get Legend of the Night, which is $200,000. And then obviously Laser Blast and Plasma Blast because we can just teleport it around and money. Money, 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 money. And then once, then we can do the Dart Monkey Paragon last and then we can unlock all of the stuff. I think that'd be really good because then we'll, we know like max money. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Legend of the Night, boom. All right, now we have Legend of the Night. So we are way strong now. Way strong. Thank you. All right, he has 375,000 HP. Oh, it is slowly just falling. It is slowly just dropping down. Nice. Okay, I guess we can work on the Paragon. Is there any other towers? I, I think we can just go ahead and get the Paragon and start working on getting the Paragon. Thank you. Uh, put this down. I doesn't really matter. Ultra Juggernaut. Nice. And money, 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 money. Nice. And then we'll be able to just get like a max level Apex Plasma Master. Okay, not max level. Definitely not max level, but we'll be able to get some pretty cool stuff. We'll see. I'll be interesting to see what towers we ended up not using. You know what's crazy actually is we're at an... Oh my gosh, wait. We're at an hour and 56 minutes and we're at round 107. That's... We're close. We're really close, actually. Wait, this guy's getting kind of far, actually. This guy's getting a little far. We need to get some. We need to get some damage up. Do I don't think I have any other paragons left, though. I don't have any paragon. I can just keep getting uh, dark champions, though. I can get just a ton of dark champions. After I get, should I just get the paragon? Yeah, I guess the Paragon isn't that important, right? I don't really care too much about getting a super high degree Paragon. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there is like a max money that you can put into it. So that's what we'll do. And then the rest we'll just put as Dark Champions. I think that's probably a reasonable thing. All right, let's go. Let's go. We're so close. The finish line. I can see it. Ben oh my gosh, Benjamin's made us $200,000. Benjamin coming in clutch in the end. My goodness. Yeah, Benjamin might not have the best, like, scaling. Oh, no, no, he has the best scaling. Not a great startup, but uh, we'll take it. All right, look at how much money this has made us. 155. These have all made us a ton of money. 
So definitely worth it in the end. Any other towers that we want to throw down? I'm afraid of like putting down a tower that I like I already did. So I'm just not going to put any down. I feel like that would be much better. No, it's actually possible to have like a sub two hour if we beat it in a minute and 30 seconds. I We just got to get there though. There's no way. We just have to like get some crazy damage here. All right, here it comes. All right, we have the last final stretch here. And go, 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 Sub two hours? Wait, I can get MAD. I totally forgot that we have Darling Gunners. Oh, Ray of Doom. Get Ray of Doom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Legend of the Night. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. More damage. More damage. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. No way. No way. 30 seconds. Come on! 20 seconds! Use all your abilities. Use everything you have. Come on. 10 seconds! Where's my where, where's my Legend of the Night? Teleport! Teleport everybody! Teleport! No, don't dark shift! Oh my gosh! We did it! One hour, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds! No way! That was absolutely crazy! That was crazy! Sub two hours, every boss in Balloons TD6. That was wild. Thank you all so much. If you've watched this whole video, you're a legend. Thanks so much. Uh, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you some other time. Peace.